Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about uh, breaking changes in our semantic kernel samples. Microsoft has recently released the new version, beta version for semantic kernel SDK. So based on that, there are a lot of breakable changes. The concept remains same, but to call the API, they rename uh, some API names and they added some extra parameter for the functions. So many things happen. So our samples, if you upgrade the NuGet package, our, our samples get broken. Let's fix in this video. First, take our Hello World sample. In this sample, I updated the latest version. Current version is beta 3. I updated here the NuGet package. The program.cs, I just build the application only the hello world application immediately you can see the errors first line number two so if i double click here this no more record we have to remove this one Next, the type or namespace prompt template config could not be found. So for this class, they added the new namespace. So we have to include the namespace. Just go here and add this one. So the namespace called Microsoft Semantic Kernel Template Engine. So the prompt template config available in the new namespace template engine. Here you can see, once we added this namespace related to this, there are other issues pop up. A request settings does not contain the definition of max tokens. So the completion class does not have this all max tokens. Temperature and the remaining parameter. So we have to correct this one. What I'm going to do, I'm just delete this one. I don't want this one and uh, this also. We remove this one. Prompt template config. So prompt config dot. Here you can see this completion. They made is obsolete. So in upcoming uh, API version, this parameter, no, it's not available. Instead of that, we have to use this model settings class. Here you can see the list A request settings. This class, we have to use it. This class, this is a list of model settings. So the list is a A request settings. This A request settings, we have to assign the our parameter. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to create the AA settings. At the moment, I just commit this one. Here we'll create the pair AA request settings equal to of new A request settings. Here we have to add our parameters so a request settings dot to add this parameter we have to use this dictionary extension data this dictionary we have to use it so extension data dot add so our first parameter is a prompt add the prompt here idea is summarize the content of the following text this is our prompt so we have to copy this one and add it here the next all remaining parameter we have to add max token temperature top probability all we have to add it so request settings 
dot extension data dot add max tokens hundred. Next, we have to set the temperature if needed. Oh, previously, is zero point seven. Just make sure use the same one. The next one, top P. That means probability. Once this setting is ready, we have to assign to here. So prompt model settings dot add a request settings added. So our prompt class is ready. Here there is no change in the prompt template. Only changes in the namespace. The next change is here. Register semantic function. We go and see this parameter list. So the first parameter is a function name. So we keep the same function name summarize context. The next one parameter template config we have to pass. That means this parameter, the line number 30, we are creating this. We have to pass it here. The third parameter is a prompt template. We have to pass it. This one, I just remove this semantic config. So of that, I keep this one, prompt template. That's it. So here our template available. I think seems to be this function is fine. The next, we have to correct this one. So the invoke async, we have to correct it. The input shows some error. We'll see this parameter first. The parameter we have to pass the SK context. Previously, we are directly passing the input to the function. The string we are directly passing. Instead of that, we have to use the SK context. So here I'm going to create where SK context equal to kernel object kernel dot create new context. Here we have to use the SK context dot variable dot set. We have to assign it here. So the input input we have to pass. That's it. Now it's ready. We'll just print the result. Print the result steps also has changed. Previously, we just use the result variable and print it. Now we have to use to convert to the string. For example, here if I want to print this result, right line, result dot get value. So if you pass string here, we get the result. And uh, this function no more required. Create uh, the semantic function. Just comment this function. Seems to be all okay. We build the application. Make sure there is no exception occurred. Yeah, fine. We run the application. So welcome to my YouTube channel to learn Microsoft AI. So we know it. That's it. Leave that output, but the idea here is once we upgrade, there are a lot of breakable changes. We fix this one. The hello world seems to be working. Next, we'll fix it in the plugin sample.